At the Frost Top in Baton Rouge on Government Street, and this is Mark Eats Food. <laughs> Now this frost top has been here forever and it's very loud out here so if you can't hear me I'm sorry. But uh, anyway, uh, two things I know about it is that they've got awesome root beer and good ass burgers. So I'll be goddamn if I die without ever going to this place. I've never been and I've been passing it forever so uh, time to try it. Alright I'm back and I got my food and uh, if you've never been inside, and this is my first time going in, it really is like a cute 50s diner. Like they've got like a claw machine and a jukebox, the uh, the black and white checkerboard stuff. It is it is like a 50s diner and it's adorable. <laughs> uh, and they've got the spinning frost top giant root beer outside and it's, it's nice. Okay, so first thing I'm going to try is the root beer. I'm going to just cut straight to that. Now, I'm kind of concerned because... This is Frost Top. It's supposed to be like the best root beer in the world. They're, they have their own brand of root beer. But I saw this guy get the root beer from the, the tap machine, like with the Coca-Cola. <laughs> so this might just be regular ass barks. Or maybe they wired their root beer into the shit. But kind of concerned. Uh, the... Oh, no, I was wrong. Holy shit. That is rich as fuck. <laughs> Goddamn. That's more like a cream soda, actually. But yeah, holy shit, that's strong. Wow. Ah, goddamn, a little too much. <laughs> okay, well, let's get to the burger. Uh, they give you your food in a old brown bag, wrap it in foil, which is which is nice. Give it a little charm, you know what I mean? So, not the biggest burger I've eaten on here, but it should be good. I've, it ain't no uh, cast iron cafe. Now I'm going to switch the camera over here so I can get a good look at this burger. Alright, this thing isn't very tall, but it's very massive. It's very wide. Uh, it, that sesame seed bun is kind of nice. They, I saw them toast both sides. Uh, just your standard. I like that it's the small lettuce and not the big lettuce. You got a bite, you know what I mean? It's just the shredded lettuce. And that tomato looks pretty soft, and that's good. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that meat looks pretty juicy. That's a that's a, that looks like a pretty thick patty there. So, so for being not that tall of a burger, it definitely looks like it's got some food on it. You know what I'm saying? All right, uh, about to eat it, and I've got my napkins on standby because it looks like I'm going to need it. Okay, so uh, when I went in, I saw the price for a burger was like five ninety nine, and I said, oh, that's a good deal. That's cheap for a big burger, right? And then they're like, you want cheese? Yeah, go ahead and put me some cheese. Hey, you want a drink? Yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, it's like 10 bucks. So watch. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna, I'm sure it'll be worth it for 10 bucks, but don't be fooled by the five when you when you see the menu, right? Okay, so here we go. Whew, it's hot. It's, it's like temperature hot when you grab it. So. Okay, a uh, lot going on here. The flavor of the toppings is good. I mean, it's the normal topping you get on every burger, but it's good, and the cheese is good. Um, the burger is not, the, the meat is not the best meat I've had. It's, it's kind of dry. I mean, I'll let you get a good look at it, I guess. Eh. There's not a lot of fat in this burger, and maybe that's supposed to be a good thing, but uh, it's there's no fat in the burger. It's not as juicy as it looks from the outside. And uh, maybe if you like your meat, low fat like that that's good but it's it takes longer to chew you know what i'm saying so so i'll put it down now but uh the the root beer is as good as advertised better than advertised holy shit it's it borderlines on cream soda it's really it's the best root beer i've ever drank uh the burger's good and for the price it's good but i would actually prefer riverside patty uh, not not necessarily the cast iron cafe, even though it was bigger, it was just stupid, unmanageable big. But uh, this is a pretty good burger. You know, if you're in town, get you one. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't drive all the way from Gonzales to Baton Rouge to eat one. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go.